Greetings fellow guitar travellers, it's Rowan J Parker here and welcome to another episode of Fusion Essentials. And today's episode we're going to be looking at a very interesting and unusual scale called the Harmonic Major Scale. That's right, Harmonic Major, not Harmonic Minor, we've covered that before, but the Harmonic Major Scale. So I'll be presenting to you seven different fingerboard patterns to learn the scale all over the neck of the guitar and we're going to learn something about the rather unusual modes the scale produces as well. Now if you're brand new to the scale, you've not heard of it before or you don't know very much about it, I suggest you check out my Music Theory 101 video which is all about the harmonic major scale. There's two parts to that video so check that out and that'll give you all the uh, technical background about the scale, its construction and so on. Everything you need to know about it. So today's lesson just focusing upon how to actually play the thing. Right, before we get into today's lesson, I'd like to encourage you to have a look at my website, that's www.roundjparker.com. Great website with lots of free resources on it. You can also buy things from the store, you can book Skype lessons via the site, and you can also subscribe to the website just by sticking your email address in the subscribe box. Hit subscribe and you get even more free and exclusive content just for subscribers to the website only. Alright, without further ado, straight into today's lesson, it is the seven positions of the harmonic major scale. Let's do it. The scale will be long today is C harmonic major and just for the record C harmonic major contains the following notes C, D, E, F, G, A flat, B and C. So it's just like a major scale except it has a flattened 6 but we'll see that that flattened 6 really radically alters the flavour sound of the scale. So let's get straight into the first pattern. I'm going to start on the lowest fretted note I can use that will produce an all fretted note pattern and that would be the note of F. So that's going to be our first shape. So let me go ahead and play it to you so you can have a listen and then we'll explain how I'm mapping it out. Let's have a listen. All right, the technical name for this scale is called Lydian Minor because it is like a Lydian mode with a flattened third or minor third. So let me just show you how I'm mapping it out, quite easy. So starting upon the note of F, it's F, G, A flat, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then A flat, B, C, D, E, F, G, A flat, and B. So I'm just figuring it out by knowing what notes are in the scale and just playing three notes per string going straight up the scale, and that's how I generate the shape. Fingering, fingering is a little bit unusual. It's fingers one, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, four. And you're going to have to contend with these rather awkward minor third, three semitone, three fret intervals um, between either your second and fourth finger or sometimes between your first and third finger. That will come up a lot in this scale. It's a feature of a harmonic minor scale and it's also a feature of a harmonic major scale. All right, so that's how you play the first one. Let's give you a very brief playing demo of Lydia Minor just so we can hear the sort of flavor or color of the mode. spooky scale I think you'll agree it has a sort of dark beauty to it so just to uh, affirm the scale is called Lydian minor and the chord we're playing against is an F minor major 7 chord would also fit over an F minor major 9 uh, let me see now so the scales are pretty tricky to learn so if you're having a difficulty picking them up I'll provide tablature for you right on the screen and also you'll be able to download it from my website in due course. Alright so that's the demo for the first shape. 
Lydian minor. Let's move on to our second shape, which is called Mixolydian flat two. Oh, the names are outrageous, aren't they? Let's go on with it. Off we go. Okay, here's the next shape, starting on the next scale degree, which is G. It's known as a Mixolydian flat two. Here it is. Let's have a listen. <laughs> One string at a time, we've got G, A flat, B, C, D, E, F, G, A flat, B, C, D, E, F, G, A flat, B, and C. Um, fingering for this one, I'm going, going to go 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4. Spooky. Alright, so uh, that's that one. We're going to demo a little playing demo of this one as well, just to get you to hear all the different modes that are in the scale, some of which are quite interesting. So off we go with playing demo number two. implies the sound of G13 flat 9 so some sort of dominant chord with a 13 and a flat 9 quite an unusual chord type you do come across in jazz and fusion from time to time and this is a great scale to use on top of it all right next mode onwards here's the next shape which starts upon the note of A flat and as a mode it can be called A flat Lydian augmented sharp 2 oh my god Yes, that's what it is. It's Lydian Augment Sharp 2. So, let's go ahead and play this bad boy for you. Alrighty, quite interesting. I sure will agree. So, let's give you the notes. Start on A flat. We've got A flat, B, C, D, E, F, G, A flat and B, C, D, E, F, G, A flat, B, C, and D. And finally, for this one, quite unusual, it's 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, 1, 2, 4. This is a tricky one. Alrighty, so that's how you play that one. Let's proceed to demo you the, uh, the scaling, some context, and the chord I'm playing over it will be a flat major 7 with a sharp 5 so a flat major 7 augmented so let's do the demo I would tend to play a mode of melodic minor called Lydian Augmented. So this just gives it an extra little colour twist. We've got the Augmented second in there. If you want to fling it in for a bit of colour difference. Alright, so that is the third shape. Let's move on to shape number four. Now the next shape or mode is called Locrian Double Flat 7. And it sounds like this one. Let's have a listen. <laughs> And 
it would fit against a B diminished seventh chord or any of its inversions. Again, if you're unclear about diminished seventh chords, I suggest you watch my Music Theory 101 video, which is all about that. Okay, so let's give you the notes. We've got B, C, D, E, F, G, A flat, B, C, D, E, F, G, A flat, B, and then C, D, and E. Fingering, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, four, and one, two, four. Quite tricky, this interval. Alrighty, so that's that one. Let's demo this and we'll demo this against the B diminished seventh chord. Alright, it is a nice scale to use on diminished seventh chords, getting away from all the other stuff you might play. So let's have a listen. alternative to playing diminished seventh arpeggios or the diminished scale on top of diminished seventh chord so do check that one out let's move on to the next shape which is just mode one really harmonic major off we go okay that will do it for this week i had intended to do all seven modes in one lesson but i think it's a bit too much and i'm worried that your brain will melt if i give you any more so we'll split it up into two parts and we'll recover cover the remaining three modes next week Okay, well before I sign off, I'd like to encourage you to visit my website www.roundjparker.com You can get all my backing tracks on SoundCloud, they're all downloadable for free That's Rowan Dash Parker I'm also on Facebook, I have a Facebook page you can like if you like And I'm also on Twitter, you can follow me there as well And don't forget about the YouTube channel, burgeoning with videos, getting on for 200 now Okay, that will do it, I'll see you next week for part 2 of Modes of the Harmonic Major Scale Till then, farewell